Hey guys, 22 Plankster here. Finally, a review on the much anticipated Savage A17. Now, this is a pretty cool rifle. This is a semi-automatic 17 HMR. Now, other companies in the past have tried to make a semi-automatic 17 HMR and they have failed. Now, I'm not gonna mention any of the company's name, but some of them, they never got out of the um, prototype stages. A couple of them actually released a semi-automatic 17 HMR and had massive recalls on them because they were unsafe to shoot. Well, you're probably saying, why, why is it so difficult for uh, a company to make a 17 HMR semi-automatic rifle? Well, it's the timing. Timing is everything when you deal with high pressure rounds such as the 17 HMR. A 22 long rifle works on a direct blowback system, okay? Now, it's very safe for, for a 22 to operate like that. There's no problems because the 22 long rifle is a very low pressure round. When you're talking about a 17 HMR, it's a very high pressure round. And you get the bolt too light, what happens is you shoot, the casing tries to eject, but the pressure, some pressure is still inside of those, um, inside of that casing. And what can happen is the casing can erupt as it is coming out, which will do damage to your firearm and potentially do damage to yourself. So, but if you get the bolt too heavy, what will happen is it won't cycle. It, it will shoot, but it won't cycle. So Savage kind of figured this out. Uh, they have an interrupter lug on the top of the bolt. And what happens is this system operates on a delayed blowback system, okay? So you shoot and just milliseconds later, the bolt is still closed and as you shoot, it opens, okay? There's a millisecond where the bolt stays closed when you shoot. That will allow all the pressure to escape out of the casing. And yesterday I was shooting this for the first time. I shot about 150 rounds out of it and uh, it shot really well. I am a big fan of Savage rifles, especially in the 17 HMR. I've owned one now for about nine years and it's probably the most accurate rifle I have at 100 yards. Now, you get past 100 yards, it, it, it can vary a little bit, but at 100 yards, I can consistently, you know, shoot, you know, quarter inch groups with it. It's just, it's just phenomenal. But this rifle yesterday, I put it on the bench here and I'm backed up right now at about 50 yards. And, you know, I can get all five shots sometimes to touch. And that's pretty good, that's really good. This 17 HMR, if you don't know what it is, um, is a 22 Magnum neck down to a 17 caliber bullet. And with this A17 ammo that CCI specially designed for this rifle, it's firing at about 100 feet per second faster than any other 17 HMR that's on the market, ammo wise anyways. This is firing about 2,650 feet per second. This is pretty good ammo. Uh, I, like I said, I shot about 150 rounds with it. I did not have any malfunctions out of the rifle yesterday. So I'm gonna quit talking about it a little bit and let's do some shooting. All right, I'm at 50 yards. Let's see what kind of grouping we can get out of this rifle. That's three touching each other. This rifle will flat out shoot. All right, after you've seen on the first group I shot with this rifle, this rifle is definitely minute of squirrel at 50 yards. Now I have some peppermint, little peppermint pieces of candy down here stuck in Play-Doh. Let's see if I can hit them a few times. Yep, there goes one. Two, three, four, five. Five for five on little pieces of peppermint candies at 50 yards. This rifle will flat out shoot. After further review, the last mint got away from me. I shot a little low, so let's finish it off. Yeah, that took care of it. Let me say a few more things about this rifle. They have one of these. This is a rotary style magazine. In my opinion, a rotary style magazine out of a rimfire is the most reliable magazine you can possibly get. 
The magazine does hold 10 rounds. Let's talk about the trigger a little bit. This trigger is the AccuTrigger by Savage. Um, Savage puts this particular trigger on a lot of their rifles. Now, this trigger can be adjusted without taking the rifle apart. You simply use one of these style wrenches that come with every rifle and lefty loosey, that will decrease your trigger pull. If you turn it to the right, it will increase your trigger pull. Now, I believe that the trigger range, uh, the pull on these rifles are between five and eight pounds. However, even with the trigger as light as it will go, it feels a little bit more than five pounds. It feels more like probably about five and a quarter, maybe five and a half. I could be wrong, but it, it is a stiff trigger. Now the trigger does break clean, but I would like to see a little bit lighter trigger on this rifle. All right, it does have a place where you can lock the bolt back. It's pretty simple. You pull the bolt back, you push a little button on the bottom and release the bolt and it stays in place. Another thing I really like about this rifle is the safety. The safety is exactly where it needs to be, right in front of the trigger. Simply press on the right hand side to fire, press in on the left hand side for safety. Now earlier I shot some peppermints uh, from 50 yards. I'm kind of known for splitting playing cards and if I think I leave this video without splitting a playing card at 50 yards, you guys will get kind of upset with me. So let me stick a playing card up down here at 50 yards and see if I can split it with this A17. All right, this shot's gonna be a little bit more difficult than the peppermints. I'm gonna try to take one of these little bitty 17 grain bullets and split a playing card at 50 yards. Now, it's not like a 22. These bullets are pointed. They're not flat on the tip, so this is gonna be a tough shot. See if I can pull it off. Oh, <laughs> split it. <laughs> Man, I love this rifle. My final thoughts on the Savage A17. I really like this rifle. I'm a huge fan of the 17 HMR caliber. Now, this particular rifle is MSRP on it is around $400 to $410, I believe. Now, you should see this particular rifle on sale at your stores without the scope, okay? The scope um, it doesn't come with it, all right? This is a really nice Bushnell Legend um, Ultra HD. This particular scope is, I think it's a four by 14 by 44. Just the rifle, you're looking at about 400, 410 MSRP. So you can probably see this particular rifle in the stores for about 350 to $375. Thank you very much guys for watching. If you have any other questions, go over to my Facebook page and you can ask me there, put them in the comments below. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep plinking.